Hello and welcome back to part three of my video process of this snake witch illustration. So over here, I started to work on the background with a very textural and uh, bigger brush, just to throw in some colors and then start to refine some shapes. I think I just wanted some natural background, but I also wanted to be uh, very blurry. Like I didn't want any distraction on the background from the background. The purpose is really there to help you focus on the character. Just wanted something simple. There's I just thought it would be cool that there's some mountainy area, and then I just added some adjustment with the colors. Nothing super fancy or like complicated, just some natural background. I used lens blur on the background. Uh, lens blur is really nice uh, because it sort of blurs out the pixels uh, different than the Gaussian blur. And it also adds some noise onto the blurred background. I think this is a combination of both Gaussian blur as well as the lens blur just so that I still have some texture, but it's not distracting. Then I started giving her some accessories because I think her arms are quite bare. Just wanted to have some extra things on her arms so that it's not super bare. On one hand, I had the braces and on the other one, I thought it would be cool to have some tattoo. I was inspired by a lot of those contemporary snake tattoo. I thought it's cool that she kind of have some tattoos to show badass kind of character trait. The tattoos aren't a traditional witch thing, uh, but I think having that over here, since she is more of a fantasy character, uh, I think it's cool to have some of the contemporary aesthetic mixed with the old traditional kind of magic. So over here, I am just working on the patterns and defining more details on her bracelet. Uh, this bracelet, I wanted to have some patterns that's similar to what she's wearing on her accessory, but also having some of these curves that looks like snakes. The bracelets are funny because uh, when I was young, I visited Yunnan where they uh, sell a lot of bracelets um, and you can actually have those crafters on the street make you a customized bracelet and you can ask them to carve whatever patterns or symbols or text onto the bracelet and uh, it's interesting because there's so many ads everywhere and every shop they would claim that they they are the only one that's using real silver as a tourist, it's very hard for you to tell what is real silver and what is not. I think the one that I got was real silver, but I have no idea. But it was a little more expensive, so I hope it was real silver. I think I just put it in like a drawer for the longest time. I never really wear it, um, but supposedly I think the trick is if you bite it, and if it's soft enough for your teeth to leave a mark on it, then it's real. I think. I'm not quite sure. I just thought it's a funny memory uh, to share. And then over here, I wanted the snake to be a little more shiny and adding some more texture to refine the material on the snake scale. Uh, with the snake, there's also kind of a story where um, when I was in middle school, one of my classmates that I'm close to, she, she belongs to the Miao tribe, and she was actually not a Miao nationality person in the traditional sense where she's always been in the tribe. She was actually a Han nationality person, which is majority of Chinese, um, and uh, she basically had to be registered into Miao nationality because uh, the area that she lives, um, they really needed more 
male nationality people, <laughs> the population is not big enough so that her she and her family got registered into a uh, male nationality, and that actually gave them a lot more benefits than just being a generic Han nationality person. And because of that, she gets to learn some stories, and、uh, she told me that a lot of those、uh, people. Uh, they have their own snakes, and then they gather their snakes' venom by open the snake's mouth, and then put their teeth on top of a bottle, and then let the venom just drips from their teeth into the bottle. When I heard it, it was horrifying.、Um, <laughs> you know, I was young and、uh, totally sounded like witchcraft. So I can totally see why. Um, maybe they're just doing something normal, like you know, they're just their thing, their daily life. But then people are just like, oh, this is witchcraft, and you know, they they're being called a witch, and people are scared of them. But maybe you know, just their lifestyle. So now I am. Now I am really just trying to refine some details and refine some edges, clean up anything that I feel、uh, needs to be cleaned up, and trying to separate those shapes, separating the character from the snake, and separating、um, other areas where it looks too blurred together. Just adding a lot of smaller details to her hair. Again, just trying to refine smaller areas and polishing up everything. Even though I am polishing up everything,、uh, I am still trying to make sure that I leave some texture with all my brush、um, because I wanted this to be relatively painterly. Here, I am just going through whatever textural brush that I have. Maybe some of these, some of these leafy brush or kind of messy textural brush, artistic brush, and just kind of going through the edges of the leaf or or the herbs, whatever on the background that I want to soften but still maintain some texture to keep the image painterly. Then over here, I started working on her tattoo.、Um, I, I really, I really like to look at a lot of tattoo tattoo artwork.、Uh, even though I don't really have any tattoos myself, and I don't really want to get one,、uh, but looking at the tattoo artist work is always inspires me for the character designs. It shows that person's personality a lot. If someone has a tattoo, it's kind of like they made a statement with this piece of art on their body.、Uh, so I always thought it's really interesting. And over here, I just added some more floral elements,、um, just so that it's not just like a bare snake on her body.、Um, and it added some feminine touch to the tattoo design itself. And I wanted the tattoo to have some variation,、um, so you know, on the belly it sort of has more of a gradient. As for my finishing touch, one of the tricks that I like to do is to fill up a layer with a solid gray, and then I go to filter, add noise.、Um, And this way, I can add some color variation to my image,、uh, and it create this kind of realistic photo graininess.、Uh, so it just makes the picture a little photo-y.、Um, personally, I just kind of add, like that added texture. 
Of course, you don't go overboard with it. I usually put this layer as an overlay layer, and I set the opacity as 15 to 20 percent, or sometimes really low, like 7 percent. And here's the end of the last video of my illustration. Thank you so much for watching.